my absolute favorite kind of weather outside today. It's really sunny and quite warm, but then there's a really cool breeze. It's just the nicest thing. When I took Rue downstairs this morning, first thing, it was obviously early, but the sun was out. It wasn't cold. It was just perfect weather. It's put me in the best mood. So last night I was doing some journaling and for the past couple of weeks, as you guys probably saw in my last video, I haven't really been feeling like myself. I just haven't been feeling my best. You know how it is when you're just going through like one of those periods of time where everything feels like a struggle kind of thing. Anyway, so last night I thought, right, I'm gonna just journal and get some of my thoughts down onto paper. I often read back through this when I need perspective or I just wanna see how long I've been feeling a certain way or I don't know, like obviously some days you feel really positive and on the days when you don't, it's quite nice to read back and remember that this is just a mindset and like two weeks ago you were talking about how great your life is and you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to get to is I decided to make a list of the things that make me feel good. And after writing this list, I realized that I had basically been neglecting all of them. And it was such a kind of like a weight off my shoulders because I realized it's so obvious now why I haven't been feeling good. So today is basically going to be all about getting back on track and making sure I do all these things that make me feel good and just getting like some positive momentum going so that I have a better week this week and yeah. So I thought I would just start by sharing the things that I wrote down on my list. So eating healthy, exercising, less screen time. This is a huge one for me and something that I have been horribly neglecting. I've been spending so much time watching TV, on my phone, TikTok. TikTok is so addictive and I feel like that's definitely had a very negative impact. Therapy. I have not been to therapy since I came back from holiday, which was months now, at least like a couple of months. So that won't help. Journaling. One, I've been journaling this way, but one habit I have dropped recently is journaling in my gratitude journal and I really need to start that again because that's obviously something that helps me to keep seeing the positives in my life so I need to start that again. Um, having a tidy home. <sighs> this has been a struggle recently. I feel like every day I'm tidying the house and then I'm just not maintaining. I'm just throwing things wherever I put them, not putting them back. And mess just builds up so quickly. So we're gonna get on top of that today for sure. And then I've said not being on my own too much and tied into that, making sure I make plans with others. Obviously I've shared this with you guys before, but as I now live like two, three hours away from my family, two, three hours away from all my friends in London, um, and Kenny's at work all the time and I work from home. Sometimes it can get a bit lonely if I don't actively make effort to make plans. Um, and yeah, to be completely honest guys, that's what I'm really bad at because I think I'm super happy just in the home with Rue, which I am, but obviously human beings need social interaction. So if you're a bit like me and you're guilty of just thinking, oh, I'm fine, I like time on my own and stuff, me too. I love doing stuff at home. I love being with the dog. I love my own time and just everything. But sometimes we definitely do need social interaction too. So that's a big one. Um, and that's it. So that's my list. And just to mention eating healthy and exercise, you're about to see today from oh, something I'll show you later. I haven't worked out since holiday. I think I've done one, two workouts in two months and that's no exaggeration. Um, which is not good enough and is definitely contributing to why I'm not feeling great about myself. And then eating healthy, again, honestly, we've been eating out, we've been getting takeaways. Wait till I show you our pile of takeaway boxes. It's alarming. So anyway, that's just some of the stuff that's on my list of things that we're gonna work on, not only today, but I'm gonna try and make sure I'm implementing those things moving forward so I don't get stuck in one of these ruts again. So with all of that in mind, we've actually got a really lovely day today. Um, I'm gonna sort the house out with you guys. I'm gonna do some of the jobs I've been putting off forever because I think that will just declutter my mind and make me feel a lot better. We're gonna pop out. I might pop into Home Sense because there's a couple of bits I need to grab. We're gonna eat lots of yummy, healthy, homemade food. Um, I need to do a huge food shop because this fridge is completely empty. It's gonna be a really good day, guys. with this 
this Bright Start Nettle and Lemon Tea by Neil Jard Remedies, who have very kindly sponsored this part of the video. So let me take you over to the kitchen actually, and I will show you some of the new bits and pieces I've been loving. So this is the tea that I've been drinking this morning. And then in the evening, I also love this quiet time tea, which is like for tranquility, chilling out. It's rose and lime flower, really, really good. And then I also wanted to mention this organic beauty oil, which is what I popped into my smoothie this morning, if you guys saw that. It's formulated to support your skin, your hair, your nails. It just helps you get that kind of like radiant glow from within. And what I absolutely love about it is that it's high in omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6. And being on a plant-based diet, your omegas are something that you definitely need to just monitor and make sure that you're on top of. It is made up of flaxseed oil, hemp oil, avocado oil, evening primrose oil, and pumpkin seed oil. So packed full of nourishing omega fatty acids, essential nutrients, antioxidants, and just everything that's gonna help you replenish your skin and keep you looking radiant and healthy. So I just pop one teaspoon of this in with my smoothie, but I believe you can take it kind of with any meal. But yeah, I've been absolutely loving this and it's such a good solution for the whole getting my amigas in, which I love. So they are some of the bits that I've been loving recently and have added into my morning routine. I will, of course, add links in the description box to everything that I've talked about. Um, and I hope you guys love them as much as I do. One job that I definitely put off is taking all the cardboard down to the recycling point because in this building, the recycling point is so far away. But this is the evidence of how badly we've been eating in this household. It just gives you an insight into how our life has been. So first job is I'm gonna take all of this downstairs and clear some space to get tidying and cleaning. out now just to pop to Sainsbury's um, which is our nearest supermarket just so that I can pick up some bits and pieces for cleaning so today I honestly dread saying this but today I am going to do some of the cleaning jobs that everyone hates I feel like I don't know anyone who enjoys this if you do power to you because I dread them it's actually very sunny I am going to be cleaning the dishwasher, the oven, the washing machine, and the fridge. They are just the jobs that like you clean the rest of your house like every day, every other day. And they are just the jobs that weeks and weeks slash months, probably months for some of them can go by and I just neglect doing because I hate it. And when you see the state, I don't even know if I'm gonna show you because it's so bad, but the actual state of our oven slash microwave and our fridge it's not acceptable it's just simply not acceptable um so anyway i have been googling like natural ways to clean all of those things because something about oven cleaner just doesn't sit right with me because all of those harsh chemicals and then you heat the oven up and i just i don't know i don't know how i feel about that so it turns out you can clean pretty much everything i just mentioned with distilled white vinegar baking soda and lemon so that's what we're going to go for today my washing up gloves i realized this morning have gone moldy i didn't even know that was possible like i obviously use them every day I saw this morning i picked them up and i saw on the inside there was mold so obviously i need new washing up gloves there is nothing that can stop me from looking at a supermarket mug suction these are nice. I like these ones. I mean, I actually have no business being in the kitchen section. Oh, the small mugs. Oh, these are cute. This is very pretty, isn't it? I really like that. Okay, we've just got a pop across the road to get a spray i've already put my belt on what am i doing to get a spray bottle like an empty bottle i can put 
the vinegar and baking soda mix in. Best parking spot ever, let's go in. I don't understand why I don't come in here more often. Like, it's a really great time in here. And this is what I need, these spray bottles. I think I'm also gonna get one of these like multi-packs because they've got different surfaces. What do I need? Bathroom, kitchen, I guess the kitchen one. Okay, we're home. I just changed into a different top because Kenny has been cooking some lentil soup. I think this is really hot, so I'll show you when it's out. So we're gonna have some lunch and then take Rue out while it's still sunny. And then we're gonna spend the afternoon sorting, organizing, doing a big food shop and just all that good stuff. So this is lunch. It's the really simple lentil soup that we always make, which is literally lentils, garlic, water, stock, turmeric and then curry spices if you want and then i top it with nutritional yeast i've popped some spinach in mine today and coriander and it's really really good just while i'm eating my lunch i've been reading through some of the messages i have from you guys over on instagram i posted an instagram story last night just briefly mentioning about some not nice things that have been said about me online um, and just asking that nobody sends those things to me because I just desperately try to avoid reading any of the unkind things that are often said about people online. Um, but anyway, I just popped a story up just saying like, I know you guys have good intentions, but please don't send me these things just because I'd rather like not see. Um, and I just wanted to really quickly say that I have honestly read through every single one of your messages and I cannot explain to you how worth it it makes any of the negatives. You're all such incredible, kind, amazing people. And I wanted to just say thank you for always, you know, being down just to hang out with me, to share the small, simple joys in life with people that get it too. So yeah, anyway, this soup. Mm, very good. I feel like Kenny's done an extra good job today. It's yummy. So job number one before we head out and do a big food shop is to clean this fridge because things have got very bad in here. Um, you know when just in all the shelves there's just bits that you need to get out and then even on the shelves they're just all fingerprinty and smeary and not nice. But the fridge is, and there's this stuck to the back of the fridge, but the fridge is about as empty as it's ever gonna be. So I'm gonna pull everything out and then we're gonna give it a deep clean. to say this is disgusting because we always put all of our loose veg in here i actually should probably not even show you guys that because it's so disgusting i am just going to mix obviously my vinegar some lemon and some hot water in this bottle, give the whole fridge a spray. I've taken out some of the bits and pieces, but I am not dismantling that whole fridge. I'm not Mrs. Hinch. We are just gonna do the best we can. The other thing I definitely need, I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but it's this little um, collapsible footstool, which I got from Amazon. I think it was like 12 pounds or something. And it just like folds out and then collapses like that with a handle and I keep it in my wardrobe so that I can actually reach the shelves. But I need this to reach the top shelves of the fridge. <sighs> so let's do it. better it looks in here and now I just have the really fun job of loading all this back in I just saw the smallest baby chihuahua I actually can't deal with that
got to the food shop, so let's go get some food. <laughs> Kenny is just washing some potatoes in the background, so if you can hear that noise, that's what that is. I just thought I would really quickly run you through everything I got from the store. It's kind of like a usual stock up for us, so um, it's pretty much all fresh fruits and veggies, as always. So we have got red pepper, broccoli, spring onion, courgettes, cucumber, carrots, some rainbow chard, which looks unreal this is full of mushrooms a whole bag of medjool dates for my smoothies in the morning loads and loads of cherry tomatoes on the vine and then i also got loads of these big tomatoes just for cooking with kale bananas for my smoothies some more ginger my absolute favorite brown rice pasta i also got which i've been eating since i got home i got some of this precious pea hummus which has got turmeric and apricot in. So it's kind of like a moroccan -y one. And I've just been dipping into it, this kind of like grain sourdough bread that I got. And then finally, I just got one can of chickpeas because we're pretty stocked up. So now we can put it all away in our nice clean fridge. background Kenny is busy in the kitchen cooking and the dishwasher is on I just poured myself a glass of wine Kenny is cooking a bean chili for dinner which is one of my absolute favorites and we're just relaxing for the evening I've got changed just into some tracksuit bottoms and we're ready to have some yummy dinner and chill aren't we Ruru? so this is dinner now that it's all done we've got a five bean chili with loads of veg added in and then we're just having it with some rice some greens and then in here on top of the rice Kenny's just cooked some of these vegan dumplings which we picked up the other day this will not come as a surprise but we also top this again with nutritional yeast I will probably add some extra garlic flakes and Kenny will probably add extra chili flakes and then finally we have our enormous bag of fried onions and some ginger yum oh and Kenny just said get the coriander oh and these are just some fried potatoes with sriracha on top and that is our dinner this is one of our absolute favorite dinners we've definitely made it with the recipe in another video so if i can find that i will link the recipe down below mummy's cookie not Ruru's you can't have that not for doggies I have been looking forward to this time of day for the entire day I can finally sit on the sofa I've got my tea biscuits chocolate and we're about to put Love Island on the TV 
Kenny and I are finally at the same point in Love Island, so we can just like binge watch it and get completely up to date, hopefully. Current thoughts on Love Island. We were talking about this at dinner. I think my favourites, Kenny was, Kenny was saying his favourites are Gemma and Luca. Well, mostly just Luca. Oh, who's your favourite then? I thought that's what you were saying. Davide. Okay, so Davide is Kenny's favourite. Obviously, Davide is one of my favourites too. I also, Davide is the only guy in there that I think is like my type, as they would say on Love Island. Who do you think? Who? Yeah, I can say that. Hi, Ru Ru. Who? Who's like your type as a for the from the girls? Like, which one do you think? I thought you liked Paige. So I would say Davide and Ekansu are probably my favourite couple. I also like Dami and India. I think they're really funny. Um, anyway, so that is pretty much the plan for the evening. So I think I'm going to sign off here. It's been a good day today, guys. I've got loads of productive stuff done around the house. And I'm feeling a lot more like myself. So if you have maybe been feeling a bit like me recently and just possibly neglecting some of the things that make you feel good as well then this is your sign to just get back on top of things um because literally in the space of one day i've turned around like pretty much two weeks of not feeling amazing so it's been a good day anyway thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys Bye.